Hi guys, it's Bob again in southern Indiana and 9KR. I thought to, today we'd take a quick look at a, a handy tool that you can homebrew up for yourself uh, really pretty cheap and uh, quickly and I found it real effective around the shack both on the receive side of our little uh, QRP station and on the transmit side and that is a uh, step attenuator. Um, it's pretty easy to build and these things work great and you can use them again like I said on receive or transmit side. I've selected uh, five different options here, five different levels of attenuation and uh, that's about all we could fit in this in this uh, Hammond uh, die-cast aluminum box and uh, we selected 2, 3, 5, 10, and 20 dB as the choices and they can all be enabled individually with our little switches here uh, little double pull, double throw switches or they can be enabled uh, in multiples which is just additive as far as the amount of attenuation. I buy lots of our parts and components from eBay uh, because they're pretty cheap and usually quick delivery most of them from overseas, most of them from China actually uh, but uh, some things we buy from uh, another vendor that we really like here uh, Mauser.com, M-O-U-S-E-R.com and that is the case with these uh, die cast aluminum uh, Hammond uh, boxes, utility boxes. They're uh, Heavy duty, uh, easy to work with, the aluminum is easy to drill out, uh, they're RFI tight and they're just real handy to have around the shack. You can build little uh, bandpass filters and filters of various types and attenuators like this and any anything you want to be RF tight and they work great. Uh, they're about uh, six fifty, seven dollars uh, when you buy them in small quantity from, uh, from Mauser.com. They look like this, this one is unopened, it's a smaller version. This works great for uh, small bandpass filters, single band filters, things like that. Here is a still a packaged up version of that of that same one that we just we just showed you. So if we take a look inside our our finished attenuator here, we can see our five switches in there, and uh, we can see the two BNC connectors. They also have a solder lug uh, that's part of the connector, so that we can uh, have a good solder point ground point to connect up our our ground bus. It actually is runs all along the top section up here. The wire that we put in there, and then we make that the ground point for all of our five attenuator uh, sections uh, where they go to ground. Uh, each one of the attenuator sections is has three resistors on it. Uh, in this case, there's an extra extra one here. Those two are in par parallel to get the exact right value. Uh, but uh, each one of those resistors was also purchased from uh, Mauser. Uh, we found them a good source of 1% resistors at a reasonable price. You're going to need 15 resistors for this project. And I, I think the total cost averages about 60 cents a piece, so it's about nine dollars worth of resistors from Mauser. But we do want to go with uh, we do want to go with 1% resistors to get as accurate as we can on the attenuation values, and we want to go with one watt resistors as well. Those are all one watt resistors, and we want that to be able to get uh, enough uh, heat dissipation to uh, use this actually on the on the transmit side of our of our QRP rig. We can we can go with up to probably uh, one and a half to two watts without burning anything out uh, with this with this device. I used a Pi type attenuator circuit, uh, very much like this one, and as I said, the values are easily found uh, many places on the internet. You can either calculate them or find a chart where they're uh, already set up for you. In this case, in this one little example here, there's several several of them that are shown right there for three, six, ten, and twenty dB. As I said, we used on our on our guy here, we went with uh, we went with two, three, five, ten, and twenty dB, and that gives us lots of flexibility. Using them in the bench setup, bench test setup, or on the receive side of our Q, one of our QRP rigs, or even on the transmit side, we can attenuate up to a couple of watts coming into this, and we have indeed used used it on our QRP transmit side to get more flexibility and. Uh, attenuating the signal down for follow-up stages that might be trying to drive it too hard. So if we take a quick look at the uh, just a crude drawing here you can see that this is wired with one set of poles and each one of the switches just set up as a pass-through. They're just connected together those two pins. We're seeing that up here in the top of so these guys here. And then the signal is fed into the center connection there on each one of the switches. And in the bottom section here is where we have our uh, our little pi network or little pi attenuation 
configuration. And basically, if we switch to that, we're either going to have one of two states. We're either going to be in the pass-through state, or if the switch is in the other position, if it toggles to the other position, we're going to be enabling the, the attenuator network for each one of those switches. So that's how this is laid out, and we physically just kind of uh, drill and solder it and bolt it together that way, and, and uh, that's our network. The project is quite simple and uh, it only took a couple of hours. You just drill out the holes for the two BNC connectors initially. It's the way we did it on the little Hammond box. And then uh, drill the five holes for the five uh, miniature uh, toggle switches. Those are double pull, double throw switches. Also available on eBay for just about a dollar a piece. Probably got about $20, $22 in the whole project if you had to buy everything from scratch. Uh, then we, we go ahead and uh, install the little, uh, I think you can see it in there, a little kind of a ground bus that we have running along the bottom side there. And then we build up our little uh, attenuator networks, our little Pi, Pi networks. And then one at a time we, uh, we install those, set up, finish each attenuator circuit, and uh, put the whole thing together and test it out. The... Uh, the cover goes on nice and slick on these little Hammond boxes and they're uh, recessed places for the screws that they also send with it to provide for it and it's just a nice tight little RF assembly these things just work great so there you go step attenuator a couple hours in an afternoon once you get the parts in from from Mauser or and or the internet and uh, you'll have a nice flexible little tool to use on your bench or in your QRP setup